the multitudes of wild pigeons in our woods are astonishing. Indeed, after having viewed them so often, and under so many circumstances, I even now feel inclined to pause and assure myself that what I'm going to relate is fact. Yet I've seen it all, and that too in the company of persons who, like myself, were struck with amazement. I cannot describe to you the extreme beauty of their aerial evolutions. When a hawk chanced to press upon the rear of a flock, at once, like a torrent and with a noise like thunder, they rushed into a compact mass, pressing upon each other towards the center. In these almost solid masses, they darted forward in undulating and angular lines, descended and swept close over the earth with inconceivable velocity, mounted perpendicularly so as to resemble a vast column, and when high were seen wheeling and twisting within their continued lines, which then resembled the coils of a gigantic serpent. Everything was ready, and all eyes were gazing on the clear sky, which appeared in glimpses amidst the tall trees. Suddenly there burst forth a general cry of, Here they come! The noise which they made, though yet distant, reminded me of a hard gale at sea passing through the rigging of a close-reefed vessel. As the birds arrived and passed over me, I felt a current of air that surprised me. Thousands were soon knocked down by the pullman. The birds continued to pour in, the fires were lighted, and a magnificent, as well as wonderful and almost terrifying sight presented itself. The pigeons, arriving by thousands, alighted everywhere, one above the other, until solid masses were formed on the branches all around. Here and there the perches gave way under the weight with a crash, and falling to the ground destroyed hundreds of the birds beneath, forcing down the dense groups with which every stick was loaded. It was a scene of uproar and confusion. I found it quite useless to speak or even to shout to the persons who were nearest to me. Even the reports of the guns were seldom heard, and I was made aware of the firing only by seeing the shooters reloading. Persons unacquainted with these birds might naturally conclude that such dreadful havoc would soon put an end to the species, but I've satisfied myself by long observation that nothing but the gradual diminution of our forests can accomplish their decrease, as they not unfrequently quadruple their numbers yearly and always at least double it. In 1805, I saw schooners loaded in bulk with pigeons caught up in the Hudson River coming into the wharf at New York when the birds sold for a cent apiece. I knew a man in Pennsylvania who caught and killed upwards of 500 dozens in a clap net in one day, sweeping sometimes 20 dozens or more at a single haul. In the month of March 1830, they were so abundant in the markets of New York that piles of them met the eye in every direction.